One of the biggest problems in linear perspective is um, circles. So normally what we would do is take our shape which happens to be perfectly symmetrical in four quadrants. Then we would do our X method subdivision and then translate that over. This is, and this is what we would do with most shapes. But it doesn't work super well with circles, right? Because when we do this, we kind of create a wonky circle. One of the things that we know about circles is that when you translate them into perspective, they create an ellipse. And an ellipse is perfectly symmetrical in all four quadrants. So you take this distance and this distance, and they should be the same. We can take this distance, go a little bit bigger here, so, and it should be the same. So each quadrant should be perfectly symmetrical when we draw out our ellipse. And this is very technical, right? When you're actually sketching, instead, you're just going to do this. You're going to estimate your ellipse, and then you're going to come back and refine it, and train your eye, train your intuition. Because the truth is, it doesn't have to be perfect for it to be an effective drawing. Um, so what you're going to do to reconcile this is you're going to draw your rectangle in perspective, or your, your square in this case. You can do your X method subdivision if you want, but I'll show you what the offset is. When you do this, you create the visual center. But the visual center is not directly in the center between these two lines. Something more in the center is more like this. So what you do is you take this center, the actual center, the mathematical center, and you put that in there. And you'll notice that this corresponds, right? So this center and this center match up. Then you can go right here, boom, boom, and you can divide the center here, which is in this case is going to be pretty close here. You can make sure that these two kind of line up. And here, that's created our axis. And then our binding box is kind of right here, right? I'll color code the binding box so it's, a, so it's different. So our actual binding box, our mathematical binding box, is right here. And you'll notice that it shares some commonalities with the perspective, but um, breaks it in other cases. Now we can go in and we can sketch in our ellipse. And then we can come back a different color and we can re-emphasize our perspectival box and re-emphasize our ellipse within it. So now that looks pretty reasonable. Right? It works. And that's the kind of uh, neat thing about this method is that you can you can kind of reconcile by doing both. And um, you know the trickiest thing is going to be in our next video when we have to combine them and we're going to use the example of an arch. And how the heck do we do that in perspective? It gets really complicated when we have stones there that we have to put in perspective. But if we break it down, we can do it. And I'll show you that soon.